take back Bangladesh. We can do it. Bain we can deliver. The people of Bangladesh are demanding free fair election not under Sheikh Hasina anymore and that is the main demand for Bangladesh Nationalist Party today to get a neutral government not under Sheikh Hasina the election for 2023 because no one trusts Sheikh Hasina anymore we need a neutral government to organize the new election and that is the only thing we respect democracy we must value the democracy please ask yourself do you value the democracy or you value you respect a dictator no one likes a dictator in this free world. So Bangladesh is under di dictatorship. We need to get rid of this and we need a free, free and fair elections in upcoming 2003 or national elections. And that is the main demand. There is nothing wrong with it. Why the government torturing opposition party? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to PBC News Desk. Thousands of political activists arrested ahead of protest in Bangladesh. On Wednesday, police killed one and wounded more than 60 people in the Bangladesh capital of Dhaka. This occurred when the police opened fire on activists and members of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party who were protesting in front of their party headquarters. According to local media, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party is the largest opposition party in Bangladesh. The group is planning a large political protest set to take place on this Saturday, December the 10th, 2022. In response to this upcoming protest, police arrested more than 1300 BNP activists this last Tuesday alone. Then on Wednesday, 300 more BNP party leaders and activists were also arrested. Despite these arrests, BNP leaders and political observers are expecting at least 1 million people to attend the protest on Saturday, according to BNP activist supporters and coming from all corners of Bangladesh to join this gathering. Since September 2022, police have killed seven BNP activists at protests and political rallies. Police kill those people while the, the Bangladesh nationalist party political leaders are rallying or protesting in a huge gathering, police opened fire and killed them. Just day before yesterday, 15 democratic countries of the world issued a statement, joint statement to the Bangladesh government to implement all the human rights and not to be harsh on the opposition party. Let me read that too. It joined a statement on upcoming Human Rights Day. They issued a statement for the upcoming December 10th, which is a Human Rights Day. Basically, this is a warning to the Bangladesh government. Do not do anything on the opposition party. Do not crush them. Let them protest. Let them raise their voice. As we approach Human Rights Day on December 10, we would like to highlight the fundamental role democracy plays in protecting human rights and promoting development. We celebrate the freedoms enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and reaffirm the importance of all UN member states adhering to their commitments to free expression, peaceful assembly and elections, among other institutions in the declaration. And just last night, the police have arrested Secretary General of, General of Bangladesh Nationalist Party, Mirza Fokul Islam al -Kir. Standing committee member, former mayor of Dhaka city, Mirja Abbas, with 43 other high-ranking political leaders. So respond to these arrests, Amnesty International issued another warning. They are saying Bangladesh authorities must end repression of demonstrations. Responding to the media reports of killing of at least one person and more than 60 others sustaining injuries following a clash between supporters of the opposition party and the police in Dhaka on Wednesday, Yamini Mishra, Amnesty International's regional director for South Asia, said this incident shows that the Bangladesh authorities have very little regard for the sanctity of human life and sends a chilling message that those who dare to exercise their human rights will face dire consequences. On December 7th, activists and supporters 
of Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the largest opposition party and the police clashed outside the party headquarters in Dhaka, Polton area after BNP announced a major political rally on December the 10th. As per media reports, 32-year-old Mogbul died from a bullet wound while at least three of the injured and are undergoing treatment at the hospital in Dhaka. Thousands of BNP activists were standing in front of the party headquarters when the police opened fire with live ammunition, pallets, rubber bullets and tear gas. The Bangladesh Authority have also launched a drive to mass arrest political activities, leading to the arrest of 1400 activists so far. This is an official report. There are many more. There are many more in the rural areas. Now I'm going to e explain how big is the Bangladesh Nationalist Party. Bangladesh Nationalist Party was formed by the former president of Bangladesh, President Jia Rahman, who was the declarer of independence of Bangladesh in 1971. He was a freedom fighter. He was an army officer and he declared the independence of Bangladesh while Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the political leader of that time, was in Pakistani jail. So there was no leader at all to fight against Pakistan. So Major Jia Rahman declared the independence of Bangladesh. I, Major Jia Rahman, do hereby declare independence of Bangladesh. And uh, once I was told about it, and having known the earlier background that the Pakistanis were out to kill our people, the civilian population and the Bengali army personnel, we had no other way but to take up arms and fight our way out. captured the radio station at Chittagong on 27 and uh, I had to go up in the air because I found the Pakistanis were concentrating very heavily in Chittagong and they had started bringing in the 16th division. Uh, as a last resort I wanted to tell the world what was happening and I went up the air in the evening and I met the declaration. Having heard me over the radio the other regiments of East Bengal regiment and uh, the East Pakistan rifle and the police force also they revolted. And when he came to power in 1979, he formed Bangladesh Nationalist Party. And that party became very large, very popular, based on his principality, based on his dedication to the country, based on his uh, honesty. So after that, after his death, party faced severe fraction. But it no other authorities, no other government could destroy this party. So the party again was led by former Prime Minister Begum Khaled Ajia, who was the widow of former President, President Jia Rahman. She became the first Prime Minister of Bangladesh. Begum Khaled Ajia. Bangladesh became independent in 1971, but it was ruled by a single party dictatorship since then. President Zia Rahman initiated a true democracy and multi-party politics in 1977 for the first time in its history. However, it went back to being ruled by dictatorship again after he was killed by some army officers in 1981. Begum Khalida Zia, a widow with two adolescent sons at the time, has devoted her life for the struggle for democracy and human rights. In return, people chose her as the first ever democratically elected Prime Minister in 1991. When she successfully established parliamentary democracy in the country, she is considered to be the mother of democracy of Bangladesh. Her steadfastness and struggle against autocracy made her the Nelson Mandela of Bangladesh. Her counterpart, Sheikh Hasina, was never able to accept Khalid Zia's popularity. Instead of participatory and competitive political activities, Sheikh Hasina always prefers backstabbing, corruption and political division. Her ultimate goal is to destroy Khalid Zia to ensure the power for her family members in the future. Khalid Zia is at present in despot's detention. She was convicted in a politically biased and proved to be baseless corruption charge. Although steadfast and firm in morality, she is at her very old age now. The women Prime Minister of Bangladesh and she led the country to a direction where the democracy was establishing. But in 2007, the conspiracy of Indian intelligent group RAW, they destroyed the Bangladeshi whole system. Under their conspiracy, Sheikh Hasina came to power. Since she came to power, she started killing all those main figures 
who can oppose her. So this Sheikh Hasina stole two consecutive elections. One election was no participatory at all. No opposition party was included in that election. Second election in 2018, the election was stolen in a different way. The night before the election day, all the ballot paper, all the ballot paper was sealed on her name, put in the box, and the election day, they declared themselves as the winner of the election. So it was fraudulent all over. All the media, all the observers were saying that election was rigged, stolen by this government. And since then, the people of Bangladesh are demanding free, fair election, not under Sheikh Hasina anymore. And that is the main demand for Bangladesh Nationalist Party today to get a neutral government, not under Sheikh Hasina, the election for 2023. Because no one trusts Sheikh Hasina anymore. We need a neutral government to organize the new election. And that is the only thing. We respect democracy. We must value the democracy. Please ask yourself, do you value the democracy or you value, you respect a dictator? No one likes a dictator in this free world. So Bangladesh is under di dictatorship. We need to get rid of this and we need a free, free and fair elections in upcoming 2003 or national elections. And that is the main demand. There's nothing wrong with it. Why the government torturing opposition party, opposition leaders, killing them just for their demand? What a world we are living in. Please ask yourself. All the protests, all the democratic fighters are giving their life to restore the democratic system in Bangladesh. We all agree with them and we all fight for them. My dear friends who are coming to Dhaka city for the big gathering on December 10th, we are with you, with our all force, all our means. We want a peaceful demonstration, peaceful gatherings, and we want our demand to be fulfilled. Sheikh Hasina, whatever she is doing, she has a power, she has a mentor, and she's supported by, she's basically a Indian puppet government. She's supported by India. The Indian raw arrange for everything for her to protect her dynasty. The world must know that India is our neighboring country. They have big power. If they try to destroy a democracy in a neighboring country, if they want to destroy the people of Bangladesh, the world is not going to sleep. The world is going to rise up and they will talk about it. They will protect the people of Bangladesh. And that's what it is happening now. All the free world already raised. All the free world has come up to save Bangladeshi democracy. And that's why they issued a joint statement to put a pressure on this government not to touch the opposition leaders, not to touch opposition political parties, not to destroy the democracy. But I have a doubt. I have a suspicion. Sheikh Hasina is not going to listen to this free world. Sheikh Hasina is going to destroy the democratic system in Bangladesh. Sheikh Hasina will destroy the life of Bangladeshi people. So I urge the whole world, please help save democracy in Bangladesh. On January 10th, the people are coming from all over the country to show the strength of free and fair elections, show the strength that the country is united to get a free and fair elections. I urge you to support Bangladesh Nationalist Party and all the opposition parties demand a free and fair elections in Bangladesh. I urge Bangladesh government to release all the political leaders being arrested in this crucial time. Do not torture any opposition party leaders. They are human beings. They have a political agenda. It doesn't mean you can destroy them. If you do so, there will be consequences because the world is not going to shut their mouth. The world will come up and you will be accountable for that. My dear friends and my dear colleagues, hopefully December 10th, will be very peaceful. Bangladesh Nationalist Party and all other opposition parties will come together to get a neutral government to organize next national election of Bangladesh and we will get a free fair election in Bangladesh and there will be a democratic wind blowing all over the Bangladesh again. Happiness and peaceful country again where everybody will be in one family, Bangladesh family, democratic country, respect each other peaceful and I'm dreaming for that. Hopefully see you again soon. Be good until then. Thank you very much.